Ray, first of all, you've, you found yourself as part of the under-21 squad in, in recent weeks. How much have you been enjoying that? Yeah, it's been really good and I hope we continue to um, get my opportunity by playing well and uh, continue to train with them every day. Obviously, a big step up from the 18s the intensity of it and obviously you want to be part of that so as long as you can, but it's only down to how well you do and I feel that I've got to keep progressing and no point stopping now because I won't get any further. So I know it's really happy that Rob seemed to give me the chance to step, make the step up. Do you really notice that step up when, you, when you're training with the with the 21s? Um, yeah, during obviously you feel oh, because you're playing with just the good players, or better players as well. That oh, you can get on the ball and get more influence on the game because you can see different things, especially from a midfielder. Um, but it's not until after when you feel on the legs a bit and then you feel, oh, it's a hard training session today, that. But it's, it's a great opportunity and I'd like to be doing it as long as possible and then making the next step up to the first team in recent years to come. You had the chance to train with, with Johnny House and a fellow central midfielder. What's he like to train with? How much do you learn from training with a player like that? He's an unbelievable player. Like, obviously, um, there's more light for him today because obviously the first time we're going to need him for some important matches coming up. But I think this season he's proved how good he is and how the Premier League's his level and how far he could possibly go in the game and how far he's actually came after getting a, a lot of stick last year, undeservedly. Um, and he's came and answered back his critics and done very well and hopefully he can continue to do that for the first team. He's likely to be part of the squad for the Everton game at Carrow tomorrow. How much are you looking forward to, to, to again, play, playing at Norwich's home ground? Yeah, well, it was a great experience. Uh, the other night playing against West Brom, I'm really pleased with how the performance and that went. Uh, obviously disappointed as a team point of view but you know we've got to get on knuckle down we've done well in training this week and Robbo's got his ideas across and so gave us an option of what team we want to be if we want to be a team that can keep the ball or work hard to get it back and it's, it's down to us he said if we keep the ball well we won't need to be chasing it so now we're really pleased how trains went hope we can take that to tomorrow's game Everton have an excellent track record of producing young players, so are you expecting a tough match? Yeah, well, you know, they've done ever so well. I think the uh, youth team last year won the Youth Cup, played them in the quarterfinal, so, and obviously you've got Ross Bartley playing in there now. Now we'll have more through to come. They've had through uh, players coming through uh, from day one, really, so hopefully, you know, we can test ourselves against that, show just how good we are. And playing in front of a, a decent crowd, hopefully, at Carrow Road, what, what experience, sort of experience is that for, you, for a player like yourself? Yeah, no, it's really good. Um, Obviously, I haven't had the opportunity with the Youth Cup this year to do that. Um, a lot of away ties, and obviously, unfortunately, going out to Watford. But, you know, there's always next year, and for some of me and the other boys to experience that. But, no, experience that. The other the other game was really great, and hopefully, we can do that more. And it's a great opportunity. Thanks. Obviously, we've got to thank the first team in that and the ground staff there who can keep the pitch in top condition for us playing on it. So, we really appreciate that. And it would be great if we had more chances to play on Carl Ride, definitely. And finally, I've got to ask you about that goal at Chromatown. How, how, how often have you scored a goal from that sort of range right in the top corner? Well, makes up for crossing and finishing today. I was awful. <laughs> uh, no, it was good. Um, obviously, I got, took my chance and it just came at me. And, you know, it was a great cutback from Harry Bark. And I just sort of took out my feet and thought I just hit it. So the keeper creeping over. So I think he maybe he could have done better. But now I'll take it. I told everyone it's a belt and your cameraman made it look even better. So no, I, was, I was pleased and hopefully a few more to come. Cheers, right?